Hi everyone, welcome to Vita in Florida again. This is the second video I'm gonna take today because we randomly ran into this beautiful art gallery. And so somehow we learned how they make pottery and tonight they invited us to a little get together they have with wine and everything from five to seven. So we're gonna be here, but this is just gorgeous. Please remember to please ding, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and enjoy. So and this we'll is um, a vase that was made um, Raku firing, R-A-K-U, is an ancient form of uh, firing from Japan. Wow. And we do them here outside. Wow. The stripes you see are horse mane, horse hair. Oh, mane. wow. a lot of protein in it. Uh, human hair does not have the same thickness in protein. Wow. Hog hair does though. It's very hard to get hog bristles. But this is mane snipping from horses. The pots come out blazing hot red, 1800 degrees out of the kiln. We, they pick them up with tongs. They wrap the horse hair around it and the black is the actual wow. horse hair that leaves the... Um, Beautiful. The so we're doing this tonight from five to seven. If you're not doing anything, you want yeah. to come back and hang out with us. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> this is spectacular. So you do it all here? Do they do it here? A lot of pottery is done here. Yeah. Artist Suzanne Frank, everything is done and stitched by hand. So each intricate bead, everything wow. is stitched by hand. And wow. Linda Hoffmeister, she um, primarily dyes her own fabric. Um, and does a, a hand, some hand stitching, but mostly sewing. Wow, machine. beautiful! Yeah. Well, there you have it. So, as you heard, all these are handmade. So what is Raku pottery, you might ask? So granted, I'm not an artist, so I will explain this to the, better, to the best of my abilities. Raku pottery is a type of Japanese pottery traditionally used in Japanese tea ceremonies in the 1550s. They use all the elements such as earth, fire, air, and water. If you watch this video all the way to the end, you will see how they utilize all these elements. The earth you will find in the pottery, the fire is what they will use to ignite these pots at 1650 degrees Fahrenheit or 900 degrees Celsius. Then they will use the air to crackle the pottery and give them the shock so that they can create those um, bubbles and lines within it. And then they will use water to actually shock it even more. So stay tuned so that we can watch the rest. Break, make a break that way. Oh, it okay. breaks how it breaks and, and that's how the smoke oh, that's gets in between. So all those black lines are actually in the clay. On the clay. Under, under the glaze, on the clay itself. So okay. It's like the cracks are open a little bit, so it's smoke. So they do. So then you put a glaze on it, and then yeah. it goes in the harvest. That's right. Yeah. And then, and then it gets into those, 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 those buckets that have combustible material. So the smoke, you know, this is hot after it's cracked because you can't get out and it's of hot, and you blow on it until you get a bell of those cracks. Made. So, made on the wheel or made it however they made it and then it has to dry. So you dry it for a couple days. But this is drying right now. This is wow. A little less dark in this part here. So you put them in the circle and you made them. Yeah, so this has got to dry for a long, for a while. Okay. Or maybe the bigger the piece, the longer it has to dry. So for a week? About a week. Okay. Wow. And then you put, uh, then you put it in the kiln first. 
As you heard, the first step is to actually make the pottery. So you can make it by hand or with the wheel. Second, you have to let it dry from two days to a week. And then third, you will put it in this hot kiln at extreme hot temperature for 25 minutes. Step four, using safety measure, they take these big pliers, they remove it from the oven, and they put it into this container with combustible materials. In this case, they did use sawdust. And once the material ignites, the containers are closed. This, is a, this produces an intense reduction atmosphere, which affects the color in glazes and clear bodies. The drastic thermal shock also produces cracking. This is due to the extreme high heat and then to the cooling. He will swing around this pottery to make it crack, which is also known as crackling. Each pottery is unique. Kind of develop cracks. Yeah, cool down a little bit. No rush here. Okay. So now I will try to narrate this. So he's taking the pottery from the hot kiln is actually swinging it so that he can uh, go ahead and promote that thermal shock you can actually hear the cracking and then he will go ahead and put it into this combustible material that will get shut down so that the oxygen is no longer present this will allow the actual color to develop and um, all the cracks to be even more emphasized here you can hear him cracking it by blowing on it Yeah. So those are all the crackle patterns that will show the uh, black spot after the smoke gets in there. There we go. That's pretty good. Wow. Now we wait 25 minutes and then we open them up and check them out. So that's how they go in it. Eh? Okay, that's good. This was good. Wow, look at that. You guys, I've never seen such a thing in my life. Come and take a class. It's a blast. Really? Everybody's wow. super, super cool here. Yes. We got ceramic. We got uh, hand building classes and wheel throwing classes. Oh, oh. This little melted cone over here is the temperature gauge. There is one right here and one inside the oven. When the oven reaches the temperature of 1,850 degrees Fahrenheit, this little thing will melt. Seeing it go like this, like this, like this, and once it goes like that, we're ready. So you want it to be aiming to uh, six o'clock. Okay, and what's your name? Andres. Thank you, Andres. Thank you. <laughs> you are doing the ghost thing. Have you ever watched Ghost? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so this is something that, and some of the pieces that Andres made. Wow, look at that, that looks like a Mayan. Whoa, beautiful. Look at this. So really affordable too, $35 for $20. that. Not bad at all. Yeah, $20. Guys. Let me get this one. You guys need to get this. This, this is want, beautiful. Baby? Yeah. That's from the Raku here. That's a glaze. We haven't even fired that glaze today, but yeah, that's one glaze it does pull down. I think uh, and Bimo, uh, sold. Have all that good stuff. <laughs> but you don't take a in the meanwhile, 25 minutes have passed. We're back here at the uh, station area where all this happens and they open the lid. So now they are getting the oxygen and in a second, they will throw them in water to shock them even more. Okay, the smell is like when you go camping and then they have a fire, that's what it smells like. So when you take it out of the water, they have to scrub it to get down to the real colors. So that's what, what does it do exactly? It basically, when you put something in there, it's, it's taking all the air out and all the crackle that's inside the pot opens up and it color comes out. Okay, it's so it kind of brings the color out. Got it. <laughs> 
So the process takes about an hour, 20 minutes in the oven, then they need to stay 25 minutes in these buckets, then they get put in the cold water, and then they rinse them off with this little brush. Oh, that black and stuff. Okay. And this is the final product, and now they're gonna brush it out a little bit. Look at that. And this is the final product. This I of better. <laughs> wow, so after she cleaned it with a little brussel. So these are all the ones that you guys just saw coming out of that oven. Oh my, this turned purple. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know, a little skirt around the waist. That's so cute. Julie makes these. I love it. No, it is a Kardashian. Yes, I'm so nice. Just need some lipo and uh, breast implants. That's all. Absolutely. Do you put the head in that too, or is that just a torso? Okay, nice. Oh my goodness. How long did it take? Um, it was so far two days. Wow. Two days work, but he ripped through the bottom of it. He made her bottom. Okay. She made the bottom. Does that sound right? right. <laughs> so it's not even done yet. So it's no. going to be like, how long is it going to take? I was hoping to finish her tomorrow. Give okay, her so about three days. And then we have to let it dry and then fire, and then she has to be painted. Wow, this is gonna like a 10 days. Wow, amazing. Well, what can I say? I am shocked in a marvelous way. I've never seen such a thing in my life. It was beautiful, it was a mix between the Murano glass, that's what some of it reminded me of, how it was taking it out from the oven, and then how it has to cool down, except they didn't have to mold anything, it's perfectly, it was having that beautiful little crackle that I hope that you guys were able to hear in the video, because it was this click, 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 like if you're banging on little champagne glasses, just in case you didn't hear it. Uh, so it's beautiful. So it's called Roku art and sometimes they do it as you saw it earlier with the horse hair and boar hair and things like that. So overall, this was a beautiful experience. I highly recommend that if you're in the area in New Smyrna, you come to James Art Center and you take some classes or you just come around and see them. They're amazing, super friendly. And with this is all my friend. Thank you again from Vita in Florida. Ciao, baci baci.